Hey everybody, happy Bee Free Friday. Amber here. I am coming to you from Georgia. Um, we have just moved and um, I have started a new job and it's been a really exciting time and an exciting transition. Um, but this week, um, I was excited to get to do this week's Bee Free Friday and I wanted to talk to you guys about guilt. Um, you know, we always, uh, when we record these, talk about different things that we're kind of dealing with in our own lives. And for me, right now, um, I've just started this new job, and I love it. It's really awesome. It's really fun. And uh, But because of the transition and just getting getting started, I've been having to spend a little bit more time at the office than I normally would, which means I've been spending less time with Ella. Um, and in addition to that, I am trying to lose the baby weight. So I have been working out in the mornings, which is awesome too. It's really good for me and I really enjoy it. But again, it's more time away from Ella. And so I've really been struggling with just feeling guilty for being away from her and um, and just feeling like not such a great mom because I've been um, gone more. And I was really struggling with it. And so this week, while I was thinking about these things, um, I just was feeling really alone in that guilt feeling and um, kind of was thinking that maybe not that many people feel this way, but I went and decided to ask Google what Google thought and I um, Googled working mom and when I did that, the very first thing that popped up was working mom guilt. So apparently I'm not the only one who feels this way. I think a lot of moms struggle with um, feeling guilty and not just for working. I think that we as women in general feel guilty um, kind of no matter what we do. I, if I decided um, that I wasn't going to work out in the mornings and I was going to spend that time with Ella, I would feel guilty for not working out. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation for us sometimes, if you're anything like me at least, um, and you struggle with this guilt thing. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. You'll find a way to feel guilty about it. And so this is something that I've been thinking about a lot and done, been doing a little bit of research on and there's this great article in Focus on the Family, um, and I will link to it today. But um, it's all about guilt, but not just um, normal, like, conviction guilt. That's something different than what I'm talking about. Um, that is conviction when you are living in sin and willfully sinning. And that's not what I'm talking about. This is actually called false guilt. And it's kind of finding ways to feel guilty no matter what you do, um, even when there's no reason to feel guilty. And I don't think that I am the only one who feels this way a lot of the time. Um, in this article, it had a great um, analogy for this. And it said, if guilt is the chariot, then fear of disappointing others is the whip. And... Um, I thought that that was so interesting. I think that we're a lot of times, we feel guilty because we're afraid of disappointing other people or maybe even afraid of disappointing ourselves and ultimately afraid of disappointing God if you're a Christian. Um, and I know that I feel like that a lot. And um, I just thought that since this is obviously something that so many women are are feeling and dealing with, that it's something that we should talk about. Um in this article, uh, it talks about kind of ways to combat this false guilt. And uh, one of the ways, which I love, was to be still, which is, of course, what we're all about here at Be Still, Be Free. Um, take a time, take some uh, breaths, take a moment, and, um, and think about what it is that you're feeling guilty about. For me, it's being away from Ella. Um, and then ask yourself, is, am I doing something wrong? Am I sinning? Am I hurting someone else? Am I being selfish? And if the answer to that is no, then you need to identify that this is false guilt and it is straight from the pit of hell and you need to tell it to go away. Um, and I have done that a couple of times this week and it has already really helped me. I'm just identifying this is, I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, I'm not doing anything hurtful to another person or to myself. And therefore I have no reason to feel guilty right now. All this is, is the enemy just whispering lies in your ear and trying to bring you down and make you uh, least, less effective in your ministry and in your walk with Christ. So identify it and tell it to go away. Be still. And then, um, Secondly, um, 
remind yourself who you belong to. I belong to God. I belong to Jesus Christ. And if that is true, then there is no reason for me to be walking around carrying this guilt that I have no business carrying. Jesus has told me he will carry all of my burdens. And if that is true, then who am I to try and carry around this guilt that isn't even mine to begin with? So I hope that this encourages you today. Um, if you also struggle with this false guilt, please comment below. Um, I would really love to hear just... Um, how what you have felt and how you have moved past this. I think that this is an, an important conversation for us to have with one another, and I hope that it encourages you today. I hope you all have a great weekend. Happy Be Free Friday, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.